What a beautiful and exciting day here in Chautauqua County. On behalf of Peter Krogh and David Hart and all of the staff at the Chautauqua Harbor Hotel, we welcome you to the ribbon cutting to celebrate the opening of this fabulous and magnificent property. So Chautauqua Lake is truly a gem here of Chautauqua County. So I personally would like to thank the governor and Howard Zemsky and everyone else that has invested in this, the I Love New York program. But most importantly, I would like to thank Peter Krogh and David Hart for their investment, their belief in Chautauqua County. Thank you so much, both of you, for all your time. <laughs> this is the single largest investment in hospitality ever in Chautauqua County at nearly $40 million. This is a huge step forward for us. It really is a quantum leap for Chautauqua County and for Chautauqua Lake when it comes to the hospitality industry. This will break new ground in so many ways. I am so proud to be the, the uh, county executive here for this grand opening. It was over six years ago that Peter Krogh, myself, and Bill Daly were golfing. Uh, we got done golfing. We had some dinner here at the 19th Hall. And Bill said, Peter, there's some property I want to show you. So we drove down here almost at dusk. Peter disappeared into the woods. After about 20 minutes, Bill and I were nervous. <laughs> Peter did not come back. Uh, sooner or later, Peter came back. He looked at Bill Daly and he says, I'm going to buy this. <laughs> and that's a true story. And that was a long time ago. Uh, and since that time, uh, I've developed a great friendship with Peter and with David and their entire team. And, and this, this is a team effort here. I'm looking around seeing all the faces in this audience of everyone that helped with this project. It truly was a team effort. We dealt with bats, with birds, with trees, with water, with fish. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. It, it truly was a team effort. But, you know, for me, every once in a while, you run across a couple of people that you just enjoy working with. And what a pleasure it has been to work with David and Peter. And I, too, want to thank you uh, for your investment in Chautauqua County, my home. Introduce you. Peter Krogh, uh, the CEO of the Krogh Corporation. Peter. I can look around and say, wow, <laughs> we have come a long ways. The staff has done an unbelievable job. I'd like to personally thank Mike Quinlan. He is with I can say one thing that I have said at the, when we opened the Thousand Islands Hotel, that the area around it was going to change because I saw it happen in Watkins Glen. The, our hotel stimulated and brought business into town, and the same thing has happened in Clayton. And watch out, it's going to happen here too. The President and CEO of Hart Hotels Incorporated. This is our third Harbor Hotel in New York State. It's actually fourth in our Harbor Hotel brand. The, the, the first in, uh, project that was uh, built in Portland, Maine in 2002 uh, with a different group of partners, but I'm happy to call Peter my partner and friend here in the New York State and Harbor Hotels. And as has been mentioned, we know from experience that the hotel will be an economic generator. It'll significantly increase the transactional tax activity, sales tax and bed tax. Um, it will add significantly to uh, the uh, employment rates here. I believe right now we have at least 100 uh, full-time equivalent jobs. That will grow in season. And if you don't know, this will be a 365-day facility. So will be open every day of the year. In fact, after we cut the ribbon, I have the key to the front door in my pocket that I'm going to throw in the garbage because we won't need it after today. <laughs> recognize Tom Benson and Rich Ryan, I see out there in the audience for uh, if Jeremy's here. I, I haven't seen her yet, but if she's here, uh, Jeremy Memerson as well. Of course, we've been treated to, uh, just over a month ago, we opened the National Comedy Center, and that has got a great vision as well. And so, um, as a part of our recognition of that attraction as being part of what I call the Southern Tier Revival. But I'll tell you, this one here in Chautauqua, they are on the top of their game. I mean, first, we, you know, when, uh, and, and that is a true story that, that Rich told. I was told that story, but then there was another round of golf where they pulled me in. And the said, let's, let's play a part, right? I was a part of that. And it's funny how those conversations over a few golf shots and a few putts and a few drinks, uh, you know, turn into uh, a, an idea and a vision, and, and here we are. Right? That's right. 
So uh, they are a great group. Um, Mark, Mark is great, and although we miss him today, we know he's doing more things to help uh, us in our region. Uh, but I do want to especially uh, acknowledge uh, Rich Dixon, who is here today, not only for being our MC, which I threw on him yesterday about this time, but uh, for, for the work that he has done, the extra steps that he's done to help us, but also Michelle Turner and Kel Rasmussen, who's here, and I'm Carol. So they have been great. They're very good at their jobs, and we're happy to, uh, uh, to work with them. Uh, the remarks are over. We're going to cut the ribbon, and I'd like every one of you to follow us in the front door and start our reception after the ribbon cutting. I see so many, many great forces and people who do so much for our county. On behalf of my, all the veterans here in Chautauqua County, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And for these two gentlemen that are standing here beside me, they are the blessings of our county. They are here to help our Chautauqua County and the Niagara County veterans. I thank you so much. I'd like to donate a flag, which would be my 311th flag that I've donated throughout the county of Chautauqua County.